tractor. Mommy, yeah. Down the road. What? No, Mama, dude. I see the tractor. Everything. But hi. I'm not doing nothing major today. Um, I guess I just want to come talk. Yes, baby. You go put your, go put your shoes on so I can watch you play on the playground. No, you're not. I'm looking at it, you told me. Look. And get that necklace for a fall under the step. Look, Mom. You guys, as you see, it's probably going to be something juicy. I got a question. Go get a band aid for Grandma. Hurry up. Hurry up for your feet fall off. Be oh, yeah. You bleed a little bit. Go take the Grandma Sharon. That's hers. That you it's Grandma's dog. I took it out of her bathroom. You were wearing it? Yeah, I was wearing it. You have it. Baby, just hurry up and do it. Nini, take it to Grandma Sharon. Y'all see Harmony. Go, baby. Go, 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 go. Right, hurry up so you come outside and play. So, you guys, topic. As you can see, would you allow your spouse's ex to stay at your home if they are in a tight spot and and they are they are friends i mean you two you two are cordial you know don't have any problems with each other and they are basically kind of like at rock bottom would you allow your spouse let me sit down on the step hopefully hopefully i don't get no splinter in my butt <clears throat> would you allow that beautiful florida weather just beautiful so, before I know what y'all right now, y'all probably saying, hell nah, Ava's fucking crazy. I know she did. I know she did. I know she did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And, um, I, did, I, was, I didn't feel insecure about it. I wasn't jealous. I wasn't anything. Because if I would have said no, nothing would have changed. You know what I mean? Because he asked me, he talked to me, well, actually, he put on speakerphone or whatever. And because he knows that I'm cordial with her and I don't have any problem with her. I'm not worried about her trying to smash. I'm not worried about him. Damn, damn, sure. I'm worried about him trying to smash, you know. So, whatever. But I guess she's just going through a rough time. And um, you guys know I don't lie wrong to talk to no females. Y'all know that. But that just happened to be one particular person that he probably just speaks to not really speaks to but they talk but not everyday talk type of talking but you know you're cordial you know and um kind of find out that they was not they not him her not her and my husband her and her boyfriend we're going through some shit i guess or whatever and then um because anytime a, a number come up on his phone either it's a girl or a strange number he puts it on speakerphone and especially if he's around me, he put on speakerphone. So, there won't be no miscommunications. And, like, I won't be all jumping to conclusions. But, um, I heard everything that she was saying on the phone or whatever. I don't want to go into everything. I like telling people business. But, but basically, she, she was, like, in a really tight bind. Um, bind and, I'm, yeah, I'm playing in my hair. I, I like, the, like my hair. But she's in a really tight bind. And, um, she was talking or whatever and he let her know that I was listening or whatever and she was like hey Avery. I'm like hey and um and basically I cut it how what all comes down to can she um what they call it bomb the couch or whatever they call it I forgot the word that they use but anyway um I'm like sure but this is this only gonna be like a one time thing um because first of all we're married with children and we just don't we don't let anybody to stick to our house period only person who really stayed to our house was my mom. And she lives next door. But still, I don't let people stay at my house. I don't, I don't do that. Um, I barely allow people to come to my house. I don't I don't like people in and out of my house. I don't, I just don't do that. I guess it's because how I was raised. Um, because my mom never let people, had never had company and stuff at her house like that. So, um, yeah. But anyway, yeah, um... She came over, whatever, and it wasn't like no super late type of sh shit like that. She came over, and she slept on the couch. You guys know I just got that goddamn couch. I just got my damn brand new leather set. 
maybe like three, three, three or four months ago. You know what? No, hell, hell it's been longer than that, ain't it? Because this, this time is flying by. Because this is already, what, March? I think I got that in like December. Or maybe November. I don't know. But it's a brand new couch set. I got you guys know about it. Yeah, I have seen it. But yeah, she slept on that. You know, it, it reclines out or whatever. But do you think I'm finna sleep in her room with my husband? And his ex is on our couch, whether I trust him or not. No, boo boo. You gonna be none of that. They ain't gonna be none of that. Oh, I got to go pee shit. No, boo. I'm, sleep I'm sleeping right here by you too. <laughs> my couch has, my my big couch has two recliners. And the middle don't go out, but just the sides go out. <laughs> but here you go, your, 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 your pillow and your spread, which is a cover, a comforter. And I'm going to be right here beside you. We, we going to watch Netflix tonight. <laughs> Amazon Prime. We going to do some shit. But uh, he going to be in the room by himself. With that dog glow. And I'm going to be right here with you. And you going to be using the front bathroom. Okay? Okay. But, um, yeah, but actually being shit and I talk. Because you guys know I don't do bitches. But if you going to be in my house, I'm going to want to know. I want to know what's going on with you and your nigga. I want to know what this he is. I want to know everything. I mean, I want to know. Uh, I might want to know what you and my nigga had back then. But you know what? That would make me seem insecure. But um, I didn't ask that. But she was like, ain't nothing like, you know, Ava, I'm not trying to disrespect you or your home or anything like that. Or in, in, even wrong or whatever. But whatever. Um, he, he and I are just friends. And you you know that I'm real, real, um cordial and 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 because you know you can't use the word friend with me because i cut you off we're not friends i'm quick to tell somebody we're not friends we're associates well we're not friends the difference don't call me a friend because i'm not your friend okay i'm loyal to my friends so associates i'm i'm really not loyal to you i don't owe you my loyal my loyalty i don't owe you an explanation i don't owe you shit but a friend Bitch, I'm your ride, your rider till you die. Hey, hey, well, this bitch tried me, told you tried to jump me. I need you. You wanna, you wanna link up and go? Let's go, bitch. Come scoop me up. Let's go. They ain't jerk my shit, but come on, let's go. I'm sorry, my loyalty is on to friends, and I can't call a lot of people my friends. I really can't. I can call you associate, but a friend, bitch, I'm gonna ride like ride for you, like you, like like you, my family. But um, she's like, you know that we are, we're cool or whatever. You know, I'm like, yeah, okay. But, um, I asked her, was she hungry? Want something to drink? Make yourself at home, but not too much. I did say, not too much. Um, <laughs> so basically, if you're hungry, it's food and refrigerator, it's drinks. You get you something, whatever. You know, whatever. Just don't be, don't be loud, loud, you know. And stuff like that. Don't have TV too loud because I wasn't ready too much watching TV. I was on my phone. And um I was thinking about sneaking a picture to put on this video. But I think that would have been kind of shady. So I decided not to. And the next day me and Ron had a kind of conversation about it. He was like, he was shocked to hear me say yes to the thing. He was like, he thought I was up to something. I, I, I really do be scheming. I be plotting and shit. Trying to set a bitch up so I can get them. But I didn't. I mean, you guys have to realize I am a change person. I am a woman that's coming into her own, trying to get her shit together. You know, my shit been together, but I'm talking about like. Oh, some, oh, I thought something bit me. But this big old bumblebee keeps flying around me. But, um,. Trying to get herself together on the insides, you know, because like I know that I have a bad temper, I know I have anger issues, I know my hands will touch you before anything else. So, I'm working on that. I've been doing really, really well. Hey, Princess. Hi. <laughs> oh, give me a kiss. You want some makeup? Mm hmm Now, don't roll too much, okay? Just a little bit. I don't see nothing on there. Do that. One more time. 
at the top lip. Now that all you got, now you got a lot. Your daddy gonna get you. Look at your lip. Oh, your daddy gonna get you. You ready to go play? Come on, who gonna slide? I watch you. Gotta be careful, cause the slide may be hot, may burn your booty. So that's that, you guys. Now tell me, I want to. I want God. But so anyway, tell me. Hold on. Let me change hands. But tell me if you think I was crazy for doing that. It could have went wrong. Do you think I'm wrong for doing that sort of thing? Yeah. Even if you know I am trying to change, you be like, hey, it was big change. That much changing. Because you guys know, I, we talked in the girl group last night about this topic. I saw it. I see, baby. We talked about this last night in the girl group. And, um, y'all said, hell no. Nah, but it was only one person that said yes, they would do it. And her name was, I always think I pronounced it wrong. Re shit, I forgot her name. I know it's R I something. I'm just gonna say Riri. I know it when I see it. I know I know how to pronounce it when I see it. I can't think of it now. But I'm just gonna say Riri. She know who she is. And um, she was one of the girls that said, yeah, she would do it. Majority of the little day. Hell no, nah. hell no. The bitch better go to Motel Six. She better link up with her mama. She better do this and that. But um, hey, everybody need help sometimes, and everybody don't have the money for a Motel Six. So, yeah. So that's that, you guys. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think. What would you do? What would you would have done? And now they get jazz. Be sure to thumbs this video up, share it on your social medias, and get your your friends and family opinion. You know, and if you're not in my group, go to Facebook. Type in YouTube Open Mic Miss Rap on 2010. You ain't really got to put my name at the end of it, but YouTube Open Mic, and you will find my group. Okay, where we chat, go live, and they do everything. You know, nothing to do with YouTube, but sometimes do, but most of the time just us women doing us. Okay? Alright. See you guys later. Be sure to comment. I wanna I wanna know your thoughts. And um share the video so you get other people's opinions and let them come join our little family over here. Bye.